Hello, welcome to another wrestling discussion. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today we're going to be discussing how to bring the broken Hardys into WWE. I had three choices for this episode, I decided to go with this one because I think it'll be the most interesting. The two I decided not to make today were TNA versus Broken Hardys legal battle over the Broken Hardy gimmick, and what WWE is not doing right nowadays. I thought this one will be the most entertaining. Uh, obviously, if WWE are bringing in Matt and Jeff Hardy, they definitely need to bring Matt Hardy in as Broken Matt Hardy. Jeff Hardy, I'm not bothered whether he's Brother Nero or Jeff Hardy because the Brother Nero character is not that much different to Jeff, in my opinion. So I'd love to see him just come back as Jeff. That because Jeff's like my third favorite wrestler of all time, maybe. But still, yeah, I'd love to see Jeff come back as Jeff because maybe if you want to keep him as Brother Nero, even just have him as Jeff Hardy in it. But I think it wouldn't make too much difference to bring them in. But Matt would need some more creative control. This is my issue with trying to bring him in. WWE need to be open-minded, allow Matt to have creative control. Uh, I think yeah. And I think a less heavy schedule would do it good as well. But anyway, how to bring them in. This has been racking my brain, but the only idea I really have that I would love to see is Wyatt Family versus the Broken Hardys. Because it makes complete sense. Because Bray Wyatt is mental. Matt Hardy is mental. You have Sister Abigail, the Seven Derities. Ooh. How I would bring them in is I would have uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy uh, appear with Vanguard 1 on Bray Wyatt's Sister Abigail's spot where she was buried. Disrespecting the grave and the resting place of Sister Abigail. Yes, I know Randy Orton just did it, but just work with me here. That would be the best way I would see to do it. Uh, but if you didn't want to start them with the Wyatts, which is my debate anyway, is I'd give them the Tag Team Championships. Uh, Bray Wyatt Smackdown. So yeah, Smackdown Tag Team Championships. Because I think it'd be best to have this as a title feud. Or even just give the title, the Tag Team titles to the Wyatt families. Actually, that yeah, that would be the best. Give them to the Wyatt family. And then have the, Ma the Broken Hardys win the titles. To add them to the expedition of gold. Which still needs to go on. Hardys need to win both tag team titles. In WWE. They need to allow them to keep doing this expedition of gold stuff as well. But yeah. Where we can go with this. So yeah. Disrespecting Sister Abigail. Making her. Bray Wyatt's Seven Devotees kind of character. Giving him similar kind of stuff to Matt. I think he should have kind of something along some powers from Sister Abigail to kind of have a brave. It's basically going to be really a Bray versus Matt feud. In a sense, I think Bray versus Matt would probably be the best thing to do. I don't think the world title would need to be in it because they are going for tag team. If it was for the world title, I wouldn't complain. Matt would still have to win because Matt Hardy's never held a world title in WWE. Not so about that at all. But that would be great. I don't know where you'd go with this. This is just my general kind of thoughts. But I think Matt should become one of the mainstays of the company. Uh, and he'd have to delete things. Like, I don't know. Start dele deleting... Bray uh, Wyatt family members. Start with former. Maybe delete Randy Orton. Don't do Braun Strowman. Delete Eric Rowan then. Then delete Luke Harper. And then he can finally delete Bray Wyatt. Win the world title. And I think that should... If they were going to do it, WrestleMania 34. And the main event should be Matt Hardy, Bray Wyatt world title I think that would be great Jeff could be there somewhere maybe Intercontinental Feud Jeff Hardy 
Luke Harper. That'd be great. I'd love that. But I just have some general ideas. I think the Hardys would do great on SmackDown. I would definitely watch even more SmackDown. I love SmackDown as it is now. But obviously we need some more talent. I think Matt could carry a company on his back. He could be the face of the company. A weird character to have the face of the company. But it would be bloody entertaining. I tell you that. I mean. Matt's just got a very unique character. I've met him. He's a very nice man. Very uh, intimidating when you stand next to him, because in the fact I'm like six foot and he's like six foot four, five, I think he is. And bloody muscly as hell. I'm not gonna lie. He is a nice guy though, but obviously you can't really have a proper, proper, proper conversation with him because he's always in character. Which is great anyway, because his character is bloody amazing. Like, Jeff was mentioning that he could barely stay straight-faced over some of the stuff Matt, that Matt does. But yet, Matt can just constantly do it. Which is amazing. But yeah, definitely the Wyatt family, Broken Hardy feud would be the best thing to bring them in. And, uh, the problem is, I wouldn't want, it wouldn't bury Bray Wyatt, because you'd give him... A lot of stuff, and it would be a WrestleMania match, and he'd, he's got his shot at the minute, so that's why I wouldn't do it. Anything but WrestleMania, because I think Bray Wyatt needs a very that would give him over a year reign, which I think he should have over a year reign with that belt. When to bring Hardys in, though? Uh, I don't think Matt would win the Royal Rumble. That just doesn't seem like a Matt Hardy thing to do. I'd definitely just have the winners for the Raw title there. Just just way over there, out of the way. But I think that would be the hottest rivalry in WWE. You could have bloody Bray Wyatt coming on the farm. You could just have everything. It'd be great. King Maxwell could appear. Why not? It'd be great. I'd have nowhere else to go with this. I'm just making ramblings into try to make it into con constructive thought. I don't think I've done that, but what you're gonna do? I do hope you've enjoyed this wrestling discussion. If you like the ideas, let me know. If you've got your own ideas, also let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, subscribe to see more content, and I'll catch you later.